Hi everyone, it's Lena from XM8 Mastery here, and today I want to talk about labor-only reports. This is something that quite a few people have asked me about, and I've tried some workarounds like work orders, or maybe Excel spreadsheets and things, but there's actually a really simple and easy way to do it that I just learned. I love that I never stop learning in this business. But let me show you how you can run a labor-only report, a material-only report. It's amazing. So let's go take a look. So let me take you through how this works. In Xactimate, we normally write our estimates in the carrier profile. So if you notice here on claim info, I've got insured info, coverage loss, all of these sub tabs indicating that I'm in the carrier profile. You can also see in your control center dashboard under the profile column here, which one we're in. So in the carrier profile, if you go up to the top right corner where we have our print, we have a plethora of options here for our PDFs that we can create and or print a hard copy of, of course, different report types. And I'm used to dealing with the final draft with or without removal depreciation. That's the one that most adjusters run. And I like my reports to look apples for apples. So I'm used to using the carrier profile because it has a lot more options for me to enter claim numbers and do other things with coverage like PWI. And that's why I normally run my reports uh, from the carrier profile. So that's just what I'm used to seeing. Um, and so we looked at the components report here. If you take a look, it is available in the carrier profile. And it sort of broke down what we needed. We have material components on one page. We have labor uh, equipment components and then labor components. So this is one way in the carrier profile to do this. So it calculates how many approximate hours you need for demoli demolition, which is the removal of the roofing. By the way, your removal roofing labor is not RFG LAB. It is DMO LAB for the demolition labor. And that's true across any trade in Xactimate. Secondly, whenever we put the roof back on, then it becomes the RFG LAB, or the R roof for labor hours. So that's why you have two here, even though all we're doing is roofing. And so it gives you the unit prices and the totals, which is pretty cool. This looks all right. I think we could roll with this. However, if I'm going to look for subs and I'm trying to just drill down what labor Xactimate has, this is too much information for what I need. I don't need these other pages. So if I go ahead and get out of the carrier, estimate and go ahead and right click out here in the control center dashboard go to duplicate I can then rename this project so I know that it's the contractor version and I can also change right here into the contractor profile so I'm making a carbon copy of the estimate that I've already worked so hard on and completed but I'm just duplicating that into a different profile that's all we're doing here and so I can name it something different Left click OK to add that project to our list, and then we will have to go back here on our control center and locate that project we just created. So I'm gonna open that up, and you can see here under my claim info, it is truly a contractor profile because all we have is our insured and our parameters, and that just shows to me that we are in the contractor. But if I go to print in the top right corner, we've got new options. Yes, we do have our final draft with removal depreciation available. But if you scroll down, you've got these T and M reports. So I could run equipment only, labor only, or material only. So this will only run the report for labor, only showing what kind of labor is being used, and give you your hours, your rate, and your totals in this fashion. And this is the way most contractors really want to see it drilled down. The other way is kind of too much of a summary. This is really drilling down to just the labor and takes all those other extraneous pages out. As you can see in my top left corner here, this is a one-page report, and this can be used for many different reasons. So that is how you run the different labor reports in the carrier profile. You're going to use the components report. However, if that's too, sum too much of a summary for you or too many pages and you want labor only, duplicate into the contractor profile and go ahead and run that T&M labor or T&M materials, however you want to see those reports come out. And hopefully that helps make your life a little bit easier when looking for subs or wanting to break out labor, just whatever you need that report for. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this video, please press the like button below. Also subscribe for our weekly updates of videos just like this. If you'd like more information on XM8 Mastery and what we do for contractors teaching Xactimate, go to our website at www.xm8mastery.com and I'll see you next week.